Hello. Okay. Thanks for joining me again. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the five steps to manifesting your goals. I have teached and taught you guys already about the law of attraction, law of assumption, and how to use the Reiki codes and numerology to also amplify your manifestations. In this episode, in this lesson, we're going to talk about the five steps to implement. The first step to manifesting your goals is to set a clear intention. Set a clear intention of what you would like to manifest. What is it that it looks like? Whatever it is that you want, let it be a new house, a new car, a new job, a new spouse, love, health, whatever your heart desires, write that intention down. This is the time to get a journal. Get a journal and write down and set your intentions within it. Look at it. Write it down in detail. Look at it each day. You must write in this journal, put the intention, set the intention, make the intention clear. The second step in manifesting your goals, your dreams, your heart's desire, whatever this is. And keep in mind, you can use any of the three techniques that we have learned already, the law of attraction, the law of assumption, or the Reiki codes. When you set the intention, perhaps you want to incorporate the Reiki code within this and you can write down what it is that you want to manifest, maybe a financial abundance code, a third eye opening code, a health code, whatever it is, you can implement that if you are comfortable with that. If not, you can just write down what it is that you intend. After that, the second step is going to be to raise your vibrational frequency. This is going to be where you raise your vibration up to what it is that you want to manifest. This is where the law of attraction comes in, where you get what you are and not what you want. So you're going to want to raise your frequency to align with what it is that you want to bring into your life. This is a great time for visualization. This is where law of assumption can come in as well, because you're going to visualize what it is and focus on the end goal. Focus on what it is you want to achieve. Focus on your desired outcome. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? Really, really visualize it and get into it. You want to do this right before you go to bed. You can do the, um, the visualization because it's a great way to implement into your subconscious mind. So it's there. And you can wake up and even have dreams about this manifestation. You want to visualize what it is. No matter what the current circumstances is, you really want to visualize it. Visualize yourself in that healthy, ideal body, that fitness goal that you want. Visualize yourself with more love in your life. If your relationship is struggling and you want more love in your life, visualize what you want that relationship to look like in the end goal. If you're single and if you're looking to acquire love, a soulmate, love in your life, what does that person look like? Visualize it. In the step one process, when you set the intention, you want to write down exactly what that person looks like, what that goal is for, um, for your relationship, what that goal is for your body, what the goal is. That's what you're doing in the intention. In the second part, we're visualizing what that looks like. This comes into meditated states where you can raise your frequency and raise your vibration. The universe and this whole system that we are in reacts off of feels, vibrations. You want to be in vibrational harmony with what it is that you want to achieve. It's more than just thinking about it. Your mental, it, it starts in your thoughts. You're going to think about what it is you want. You're going to think, but you're going to have to trick the brain into believing that it's already yours, which takes us into well, actually, that's going to be like the fourth step, but what we're going to go into now, actually, no, we're going to go into the third step. The third step goes into holding on to that belief that it's already yours, that it's already achieved. Your third step in the manifestation goal, set your intention first, you raise your vibration. Secondly, raise your vibration sheet, raise your vibration and your frequency to match that if which you want. Now you're going to hold that belief in the third step. Hold the belief that it's already yours. It's already done, right? As we learn in the law of assumption, it's already done. It's already yours. So why would you even, why doubt it? You're, you're going to trick yourself. Believe it. You can be delusional. People who you do whatever they want to call it, but you are already knowing that it is yours. You believe it unwavingly. You believe it. You believe your business is going to be a multi-million dollar business. You believe and see the success in it already. You see yourself on stage 
talking to, how many people you want to talk to, or you see yourself in a beautiful, harmonious family unit where everything is working out and you're the star sh one and you're able to lead your family to wherever you want to be, whatever that is, believe it. And that comes in after you visualize this so much each night in step two, that step three is natural. You already believe it once you're visualizing it every day like that. You're matching the frequency. If your frequency gets lowered down, it is going to, you're going to have to get back into it. Let's go back to step one and look at that intention. That's why you want to keep that daily journal, that daily notepad that walk that you write down everything that you want and you're achieving in your life. You write it down. So whenever you may slip back and, oh, maybe this money is not coming in. This is not going to turn out the way it is. You go back to step one and you look at the intention that you set and remember that what the goal is and you raise your vibration and you continue to hold the belief. The fourth step in this process is you want to express gratitude for everything that you have in your life already. Guess what? The secret to manifesting and for the universe to give you what you want is through gratitude and appreciation. When your friend or your spouse or your, 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 your boss shows you appreciation, what does that make you want to do? It makes you want to do more. It makes you want to work harder. It makes you want to give more of that thing that they thank you for, that they appreciate for. Show appreciation for people. Show appreciation for your life. You cannot get more if you can't appreciate where you are right now. So take a look around you. Appreciate your home. Appreciate your life. Appreciate the fact that God gave you, the universe gave you breath to wake up this morning. Get in the habit of writing in your journal that you set the intention to also express gratitude, have a gratitude journal. I'm so happy and grateful for my amazing life. I'm so happy and grateful for my mother, my father. I'm so happy and grateful for my amazing wife. I'm so happy and grateful for my amazing husband. I'm so happy and grateful for my amazing kids. I'm so happy and grateful for my health. I'm so happy and grateful for my job that pays my bills and is able to make me go on vacation and do that. I'm so happy and grateful for my business is thriving. You want to be happy and grateful because the universe loves appreciation. Because when you show the universe appreciation, they're going to give you more of what it is that you appreciate. They're going to give you more things to be appreciative about. So you have to start where you're at. Even if you're looking around like, I can't find anything to be appreciative of, I absolutely guarantee you, you can. Because you have the ears to listen to this right now. And that is something you should be appreciated and grateful for. The fact that you're even receiving this message is something to be grateful for. Because your your gods, your universe, your angels, your magnetic forces have aligned you to this. So you're already on a path if you're listening to this already. You already set your intentions of one and more. So at this stage, you know you have so much to be grateful for grateful for. And as you're being so grateful, the universe is going to now start aligning things and boom. Now we get to the fifth step, which is where you take inspired action towards your goal. You take inspired action towards your goal. It's that feeling with inside of you that says it is time. Inspired action, you must take it. It's a it's in correlation with the universe. So pay attention to your inner guidance. Notice synchronicities. Notice when it's time. Notice if you ask for a new job or a new thing, um, new employment. If you ask for more love in your life and someone asks you to go to a random event, know that that is the inspired action that you need to take. The universe is presenting that opportunity for you because the love of your life could be at that event. Inspired action. You ask for more health. You want more fitness, more health in your life. And someone asks you to go to a... Um, a new fitness class that they just found out about. That is how the universe works. This is the inspired action and time for you to go take the inspired action and go to that class, go to that meeting, go to that event. You'll know because it'll feel good within your heart, within your soul. You start to notice synchronicities. You'll see repeated numbers and repeated numbers or particular animals that might come across your path. These are all signs that the universe is sending you to let you know you're on the right path. And how you know is that it won't feel like effort. Inspired action typically feels effortless and in alignment with the purpose. It doesn't take effort to force. It feels effortless. Action begets more action. The universe loves action and movement. 
It's a co-creation process manifesting. You set your intentions and the universe backs you up with the goal of what it is you want. It is inspired action. So step one, set the intention. What do you want? Step two, raise your vibration and your frequency to meet that intention. Step three, hold the belief that an intention is already yours. Step four, express gratitude for everything in your life already. And step five, you take the inspired action. Inspired action towards your goal. If you want a new house and you made the intention for a new house, the house is not going to build itself. It's not going to build itself. God's not going to just build the house for you. Is going to give you an opportunity to get into that house. So you must recognize the sign and know how to take the inspired actions in the step from your internal guidance, from your internal guidance, not by asking someone else around you what you should do, but knowing within yourself that this is what you should do. For example, say your inspired action step is to manifest more peace. Let's do something that's not so you know love it you want to manifest more peace in your life peace you have everything you have your house you have your health you have your amazing spouse for some reason though you cannot find peace in your life you are not peace at peace you just want to be able to protect your energy and be in a state of peace and grace each day that's what you want to manifest so you set that intention of manifesting more peace in your life this is what i want you visualize and raise your vibration to the Vibration of peace, or perhaps it's the time where you start meditating more. You're going to meditate because that's a nice way to bring peace and harmoniousness into your body. Now you're going to hold the belief of this peace being in your life. Everything's peaceful. Everything's working out for me. There may be chaos around me, but I am at peace. And express gratitude. Then you want to express gratitude for all the things you have to be peaceful for in your life. Your peaceful home environment, your peaceful job, your peaceful health. These are things you want to be peaceful about. If something else is out of alignment, you're going to concentrate on the things for you to be peaceful. That gives you more peace. And then the inspired action comes along where you receive an email that says, join us on our peace retreat that we're going to go away and meditate and get to know each other and learn how to raise your frequency and your vibration and you can meet other souls that are like, oh, wow. That sounds in alignment with what I've been asking for. I've been asked for peace. This looks very peaceful and something. That's an inspired action. That feels right. You want to click on that link. You want to go sign up for that retreat. And you want to go and go out and zen out and find other people now that you can be in that harmonious frequency with. You guys have been magnetized to each other because you guys all ask for peace. If you ask for money, you're going to start magnetizing other people with money in your life. Also, part of manifestation is if you want to be and manifest the things you want in your life, who are you around? What are your surroundings? What is around you? If you want peace, you're going to need friends that don't complain around, um, complain all the time. If you want health, you're going to want friends that are not eating at McDonald's every day. You're going to want to have friends that are in that health consciousness. You're going to want to start magnetizing towards that. So what does that mean? It's time to join a gym. It's time to do inspired action. If you want to manifest more money in your life, are you constantly talking about how broke you are, how this is not working out, how your finances are? Are the other people around you repeating that same story, repeating that same story of brokenness and lack, lack, lack mentality? If that is the case, it's time for you to surround yourself with more people that are in alignment with the vibration of money. You have to be in harmonious union with the vibration that you want to receive. So if that this is a step two. So if you want to harmonize, harmonize with money, go to networking meetings, go to business networking, free events where you could be around money, be around people with that, that kind of energy. And trust me, it's time for you to be in alignment with that. You will start to meet these people. You start to get these friends. Because if you have four non prosperous friends, you're just the fifth non-prosperous friends. If you have four angry friends that are always negative and complaining, you're just going to be the fifth negative and angry complaining friends. If you have four friends that are out of shape and always talking about how their knee hurts and everything, then you're going to be the fifth one that maybe their back hurts. Get it? You are who you surround yourself with. So that's also a part of this manifestation journey. 
uh, I guess a, this is going to be a six step bonus is to come into the environment and the alignment and surround yourself with the things that of which you seek to manifest. So that is all I have for you in this lesson. I want you to take what we have spoke about today, get a gratitude journal, an intention journal, and go through these steps and write down something that you want to manifest for yourself. Long term or short term, but start playing with it and look at these intentions and see how this can really, really change your life once you start harmonizing with what it is that you want to achieve. Sending you love.